Hey guys, look Bug here and welcome to another FIFA 21 XBC video. It is Monday at 6 p.m. and EA have given us a new foot freeze daily XBC today. It's Lehmer from RB Leipzig and he has been position changed from what I believe is a CDM card to a right back. Uh, which is pretty interesting. To be fair, his cards, for the most part, does look pretty solid. And uh, he is 85 rated. He is there as well for the next five days. He's got two segments, which is very interesting. Two segments for an 85 rated Bundesliga right back is um, is very interesting. And of course, the you know the Bundesliga isn't you know in the right back position. It isn't blessed with too many great cards, is it? I mean, there was the Muki Ile card from the rule breakers that you get as like an objective card. So I might have to compare him, this Leymar card, to that Muki Ile and see if he's better than him. But uh, we'll have a look at his in-game stats in a second. What does he require? So it's an 83 rated with very high chemistry, and then an 85 rated. I feel like that's already overpriced, you know, and. What was that Muki Ile card that you could grind for free? Was it wasn't he like 84 rated? We'll have a look in a second, but that seems overpriced. That's gonna come in at well, especially with the high chemistry requirements on both teams. So the 83 rated had 80 chemistry. Even the 85 squad had like 75 chemistry. So that's gonna be really expensive. Well over 150,000 coins. Of course, no informs needed, but that's insanely expensive. Um free star, free star, medium high, five foot eleven. You know, that that that's fine. His in-game stats, his pace is really good. His shooting doesn't matter at all, so we won't pay any attention. His passing, to be fair, is insane for a uh, for a fullback. Really, really good. His dribbling again for a fullback is pretty nice. Interceptions and defensive awareness are superb. His stand tackle is okay. His stat tackle will need to be much better. Stamina is superb. Aggression is nice. And strength at 80 isn't too bad for a fullback. Uh, not really too much going on in player choice. It's a decent card. But at the same time, is it worth sitting there putting 150,000 coins or potentially more into him? I'm not quite too sure. Especially for you guys that might have already had that Muki Ile card. And there might just be other really good right backs in the Bundesliga in general that, that I can't even remember. And of course, the Bundesliga, you know, you don't really see too many people using the Bundesliga that often. Of course, it does get used, but not... It's not uh, as common as, um, I'd even argue that League on teams are probably just as popular nowadays as Bundesliga. But anyway, for the right-back position, yeah, 84 rated. Lacks in pace, has much more dribbling, does have a lot less defense. But it doesn't having a lot less defense doesn't matter too much for a fullback. Less physicality, less passing, less shooting. But this was a free car though, wasn't it? Six foot two. Yeah, his pace is really, really good. His passing isn't too bad. Well, it's not in circles. There's no way they'd level a lame, but it's still good for a free card. His dribbling is absolutely fantastic for a fullback, which does kind of matter a little bit. His tackling as well isn't too bad. He's got better, he's got the same stand tackle, better slide tackle, but just worse in interceptions and, uh, and defense and uh, yeah, and defensive awareness. His his strength is really, really nice. And has the early cross trace as well. If you've already got Muki Eli in your team, who's also easy to link into, and the fact that, I mean, again, both from the same club, you know, why don't you make this guy from Dortmund? You know, give us like a special, well, obviously, Munia, they would have had to have position changed him, but like, give us like, for example, um, yeah, let's go to more CDMs from the Bundesliga again. I don't know why they're going with this. Why did they go with the same clubs again? You know, go with like a, um, not none of these guys, because they've already had special cards. Go with like a Delaney as a right back. You know what I mean? And give him, like, insane pace. His defensive stats are already nice. Why does it have to be another Leipzig player? I just... Or, you know, or this guy, even. Uh, who used to be pretty cool back in the day. I just don't... You know, it's boring going with the same club again and again and again for the same premise. I'm just sick of it. If you want my honest opinion, I really, really am. Um, there's the other Lema cards who actually is spelt slightly different um than than this one but um if you got Muki Ili there's literally no lead to go with Lame. The thing about Muki Ili as well is that he was completely free to be able to unlock. He's easy to link into in, in Lame and the fact that you know he's French so of course there's so many good French players in this game. Lame you really having to go with um uh, you know other Bundesliga players in your team. Yeah the card's fine but there's no need to, I you know you wouldn't be missing out if you didn't do this SBC personally. No need to do it. I've I've got to be quite honest. It's another um Another poor SBC. We're getting a Liverpool player one day, which is cool. Um, but yeah, a bit, a bit disappointing again. I, I, you know, I try to be positive in these videos, but the, you know, cards like that just, uh, I, I just personally don't see great value for money. Nothing in objective. So once again, it is literally just the SBC for today. And um, now the one benefit that I will be doing 
throughout Christmas into the uh, into the new year from now is that I will be starting to do Icon Prime Icon Play Reviews, hopefully starting from tonight. And I want to try and get a Prime Icon Review out every one or two days over the Christmas period and going into the new year. But yeah, this SBC, once again, honest opinion, another bad day of foot freeze. Uh, you know, it's... And this is the thing about Footmas, you know, where we get like two SBCs. You know, with Foot Freeze, now you have to rely on that one SBC being a good player. With Footmas, you didn't have to rely on, you know, just one SBC. There would be two SBCs. So usually there'd always be one decent option to be able to go for. And um, just giving us the one card every single day. I mean, don't get me wrong, but, you know, we have had a few decent players, but today it's just been. Poor. If you want my honesty, I'm not going to sit here and just lie to please people. I, I haven't enjoyed this promo this year. Um, finding it very difficult to motivate myself to play FIFA at times. I mean, obviously, it's cool with the team I've got. I, I am enjoying using Mbappe. If I didn't have Mbappe, if I didn't have this team, I don't think I'd be playing FIFA too much to be honest. But having this team, really, really, I do enjoy like this. That you know, this attacking trio and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you know, as as I've said, few few cool SBCs. You know, Marquinhos. Um, Politano, there was another one from Friday, the Gnabry SBC, but this Lamer card, nah, I'd avoid it in my personal opinion, guys. Instead, go out and buy this guy. Bruno Perez has the chance to get more upgrades, is literally already a better card, and will be cheaper to buy off the market with the potential for future upgrades further down the road in the UEFA Europa League. So in my opinion, don't do the SBC if you want to write back by this uh, road to the final Bruno Perez. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.